Would you be in favor of removing crit from the game? No, I think crit is a fine stat. I just think Gangplank is a unique champion that is extremely reliant on crit compared to other champions. I'll hit him once back there because he started Q and I'm fine with that. Kite, kite, kite. I gave him a grass proc, but he's hitting a bunch. He's getting a bunch of uh, damage from the creeps, so it's fine. His attack speed was too high there, so I didn't actually get to cancel the auto. He has too much passive stacks. I shouldn't have uh, traded all this that much. But either way, uh, he has no sustain, and I have sustain. So trading this aggressively into Jax is very, very good. Again, early game he can push anyway, so um, I like to just chill here. Nice stun by him. I have to hit him on the way out. Like the problem there is if I lose the mind game and he doesn't jump, then I get absolutely murdered. <clears throat> so you see, like it looks really spicy, but in terms of uh, like health, I'm actually doing totally fine. He has one more EQ and then he's out of mana as well, so that's pretty good. Obviously, if his jungler is coming top, then that might be dangerous, but uh, he's basically got one more spell rotation in him, and then he's out of mana, so that's what I'm kind of playing around here. So it is spicy, but you see how now he's suddenly running out of HP, he has to be scared of my jungler, uh, because the, he's just been pushing the wave into me, and like playing super aggressive, super, super spicy. Make it hard for him to crash the wave now. And this is all possible because he played so aggressive early game. I normally wouldn't uh, be able to enjoy this much of a of a freeze and like a general winning lane state. Uh, if not for this. I need to be careful of getting lane ganged by Fiddlesticks here because he was topside. Oh, it looks like he full cleared and then he's off somewhere else now. But as you can see, he's out of mana. He doesn't have cookies because he, uh, he took a different room page. Uh, I'm going to get my cookie here soon and we're going to be chilling. Yeah, he has vision there. It's going to be tough. He has E as well. I don't think I can force that. I'm just going to play it nice and slow. We're chilling. Fiddle 6 was bot lane. That's where he was. See, so yeah, I'm just enjoying a nice slow push now. He hasn't been able to touch the wave forever. And that's because he made it too spicy here. Not good for his matchup to make it that spicy, basically. Better for me because I have sustain. And um, once the wave comes near my tower, I can just control it completely. Cancel the recall here. I can tower dive him here uh, 1v1. Just need uh, enough mana for Q into... Like, I can't use Q on the wave here, because otherwise I won't have mana. So I'm just going to auto-attack the wave down. If I can get him to use TP to catch a big slow push, that's also good. That means he can't base TP later. Again, saving my mana just to make sure he, does, he, he uh, base TPs here. Yep. Very nice. And I got a little full charge Q on him. Beautiful. And I got my lost chapter. Beautiful. Again, Fat Man with Comet is the way. Oh wow, the smoke screen killed him. That's kind of crazy. And I get to save my TP, so I'm gonna waddle back here. Look at that. Massive slow push and double kill mid. Beautiful. But yeah. A lot of times people don't understand that like making a making a lane volatile can be favored, can be like, you know, like making a, a winning lane uh, volatile can be good, it can also be bad. In this case it was good because I had Graves pathing up. And obviously Fiddlesticks, if he was coming up, he could have flash feared me when I was this low and I could have gotten bursted in, in like one shot, right? So it, it, there, there is inherent risk to it. However, this risk is well in my favor because Jax can't touch the wave meanwhile I'm slow pushing the wave like that. And it's only going to get worse now. Dunked. Oh, I had to wait until I finished drinking my my beer before I could flash auto him, because obviously you're in uh You're in the drinking animation. Actually I'm gonna crash the wave here. 
a nice little bomba. Actually, I can push out the next wave. I have a lost chapter, so I have so much AP, I can just fast push. Very chill. But again, nice little Gragas masterclass. I don't have flash now, so he does have one he has his next ultimate. I need to be mindful that he will have an opportunity to flash on my head. Um, and without phase rush, I can't escape him. So this is the downside of playing no phase rush in this matchup. When you use your flash to solo kill him like I just did, you will have a discrepancy in flash, and this can lead into getting solo killed. So be really mindful that you don't let that happen. Right now, I'm going to be really mindful that I do not let him solo bolo me. I'm going to grab the cooldown shoes here, and with the movement speed and everything, it's still not going to be easy. I'm going to TP back here. My TP is a lot of cooldown refund, because I have uh, Cosmic Insight plus cooldown shoes. So it's going to be easy for me to just uh, waddle up to him here and start queuing him. Again, you just pelter, you just, you just shoot queues at him. That's all you do. Well, you, you try to hit them, ideally. Every time he walks up to you and tries to interact with you, you hit him with a body slam. That's it. You don't body slam forward ever. You see that Q damage? It's disgusting with Comet. Don't let him walk into you, okay? Don't let him walk into you. And just Q him. Look at that. 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 Ward in the bush. You know, let the minions pelt him. Let the minions pelt him. He queued away. Q on his forehead. Boom. Can't play the game. Cannot play the game. He's just sad right now. Don't use body slam. You don't need to. You just Q him. Every time he last hits, Q. This time I could go because I knew. This time I could um, body slam there because I knew I was going to body slam him into my queue. So I just put him to 1 HP. Obviously a different situation, right? Torch, back off. Q. Flash. Peace. Can't play, can't play, can't play, can't play, can't play, can't play. He cannot play. He wants to FF. Right now, he wants to FF. Kite into the barrel. He can't play. He has no flush. He can't play, 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 he can't play. Good night, sweet prince. Deserved for picking Jax? I'm telling you guys. Just because Jax is go P doesn't mean he doesn't have counters, yeah? It's pretty miserable, isn't it? You need to rush Merc Treads in this matchup since Jax. Obviously, if you're going to be playing this matchup, make sure you rush Merc Treads. It is really nasty having to play this matchup without Merc's rush. I have Graves backing me up, kinda, but still, I think I might be a bit too greedy here. Oh, wait. I'm dead. Oh, my Q didn't slow her. Otherwise, I think he could have lived too. I didn't realize Alistar was so fr like had so much tempo on us. That's my bad. I should have just kept proxying and just recalled in my own fucking... Like, m in my own business, you know? Why did my own business? I'll start a flush now though, so he'll die here. Uh, unfortunately, Jax came back from base, so he's dead too. Big blunder by me, honestly. I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have gone there. I should have just proxied and recalled behind my own tower. That said, it's not the end of the world for me because Jax is still losing a shit ton. He only got an assist. He didn't get much. That was my bad though. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have the body slammed in there. I also missed my body slam. That was kind of cringe. I even tried the solo dive. Got flash and ult from from Kaiser. It's not the end of the world. He's, uh, he's gonna get his Mercury call here, though, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Oh, he hit the W there. She's dead. Really well played by Rakan. Kept cancelling her base, and then eventually she got fucked. I'll hover there, because it matters more than cancelling Jax's base. Um, because if we kill her, that's guaranteed Herald, and obviously that's more valuable than me shitting on his Jax a little harder, because honestly, I've been dumpstering him pretty hard anyway. His Merc Treads won't change the fact that it's still pretty miserable to play, uh, now that he has no flash. We got the Herald, and this guy will die. I just wanted to peel the guy. Nice. Just kite them here. They're fucked. Play with your own. Damn, I uh, had flash in one second and I could have flashed out. But uh, both mid laners are gonna get really fed here. He's gonna right click him to death. Nice, not bad. We got the Herald and we ended up getting uh, a triple kill. Alright, we actually uh, got a Draven kill with uh, the ult, I think. <laughs> or he solo killed bot. No, he didn't solo kill bot. Either way, not bad. I think I could have played that better. My body slam was bad. I was marked by that Kali E. I should hold my body slam there. Misplay. Misplay, definitely. If I can body slam her out of her E, I will live there as well and uh, we'll kill everyone. Oh well. I call it you circling your own. Yeah, she tried to outplay him and he was just like, yup, didn't care. Either way, misplay by me, but uh, still very good for the game, of course. Uh, we killed everyone on the enemy team there. Akali's really fed, so, uh, I mean, honestly, looking at their comp, it's probably just a... It's probably just a thingy angle. Like a Banshee's Veil type of game. Um, I just grab Banshee's here for the double MR against Akali and Fiddle. It's gonna be quite nice. That's really bad, though. Him dying like that, because he's greeting.
Like okay, I said, it doesn't really get better with levels. In fact, it gets worse. Um, so, if you thought I got bad, it, it, it only gets worse. The more points I get into the E, like, it's just gonna get more miserable and more miserable. It's a spicy game. Maybe I could have TP'd both here. Mr. Z, Mr. Z, so I'm just gonna kill him here. Oh, one for one, my bad. I, I was still getting full tower damage there. I didn't reset the tower aggro, I didn't realize. My bad, I shouldn't trade one for one ever there. Misplay. Also, I missed my Q timing, that was really bad. Misplay. My Gragas is quite rusty, honestly, and also, like, I'm not gonna lie, playing Gragas with one less finger is kinda hard. Just like, you wanna press, like, ER, WQ, like, you know what I mean? Like, you wanna press all your combos at the same time, you know? So it's, it's kinda hard to play this champ. With uh, one less finger. So forgive me for my bad play. At least you guys get to learn from the... Uh, from the decision making. Alright. You usually want to let your barrel sim simmer there. Just like I did. But I, I let it simmer a bit too long. I, I wasn't sure how long the, the tenacity was going to root him. So I messed up. Finger excuse is getting a bit old. I know. Body slam, same time. Is there someone here or is he just trolling? Oh, nice side step by him. Misplay by me. I was aiming for it as well, but I didn't think he would go that much into me. Well played. Oh, I'm bad. He's bad though. He's badder, I guess. <laughs> so the thing is, if you do try to like really hard force on him the way I am, uh, it does get really spicy and it's not like free free, I think. I can't. Uh, I need two more autos. I don't want to risk dying, honestly. Wait, what's happening here? Is Akali gonna die or is Zone gonna die? I don't know. I don't know who's killing who. Oh. Is Zone killing her? Nice. Oh! Oh! Alright, I just wanted to check if she was gonna int for the kill. I wanted to make sure I was participating. I lost some CS because of it, but not the end of the world. The fact that Jax is almost winning... No, it's because I'm taking so many tower shots, bros. Like, it's nothing to do with how broken he is. I mean, he is definitely strong, but like, yeah, if I take 12 tower shots per trade, it's pretty hard to, uh, like, you know, win, I guess. Boom. Bye. Honestly, I kind of want to stay until I have Banshees, but I think that's a little too greedy. He wants to jump on me here. He's welcome. <laughs> I invite him. Pry me. Like, if we fight in the normal lane, then it wouldn't be the case, but I'm trying to, like, push myself to, like, you know, improve my mechanics as well on the server, right? So I don't want to just, like, sit there and, like, win my lane and then just, like, AFK farm. I actually want to fight people and, like, push myself to harass them under tower and stuff. Really, lane kingdom, you know? So we are now. Definitely going to be finishing this into a Banshees. Uh, Jax is actually a pretty big uh, magic damage champion as well. Like, 40% of his damage is magic damage, especially if he goes uh, Zonyas. Oh, sorry, not Zonyas. Actually, no, Zonyas. That's exactly what I meant. Want to trade again? <laughs> one for one because I'm trolling again. My bad. I didn't. I. I didn't. I thought that I walked enough far enough out of tower range, uh, but I did not. I thought I walked far enough out of tower range uh, when I ulted him, but I really didn't. I needed to ult him back and then play patient after that. Again, though, like I like I said, I'm 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 trying to like really squeeze every little. Every little advantage I can get. Worth. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like, it's pretty miserable this matchup, no? 
it's pretty bad. Um, also, I don't think it's too bad. Like, honestly, like, this game, I think if it goes Spirit Visage, I'll be a fucking monster. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it. I normally don't do it. Uh, but I think this game, they have so much magic damage across all five champs. That is like, pretty, pretty good, I think. I'm going to TP behind them here. Double TP. Look at that. Oh, my God. The fucking Avengers, baby. Holy fuck, this guy can't move his champion. He's getting grogged. <laughs> the fucking Avengers TP'd mid. Crazy stuff. Oh. Ah. No guys, hold, I'm fine. I'm fine, 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 I'm fine. Holy fuck, the Avengers, baby! Look at us, we're the Avengers! Holy shit! <laughs> we're not fucking around this game. <laughs> Holy shit. That was a fun game. I had a lot of fun, you know? It was like one of those games where it's like I wasn't really tryharding, like I wasn't making decisions to like win the game. I was just having fun fucking murdering the Jacks. But uh, I had no regrets. My team carried me. Nice. It was it was only like like team like full team gap you know like except for mid enemy mid was trying very hard. That guy will not be blind picking jacks anymore. I mean, you shouldn't play like he he can make the lane like he can like he can farm and scale until like level seven eight nine and that's when it gets really bad. Um, like if you play it slow, but if you play fast like this, you, you will you will start losing very quickly against the Gragas player that knows what he's doing. Uh, unless you like have a plan of tower diving him with your jungler, which I think like that that was what I was scared of. But at the end of the day, I, I said, fuck it. Like, keep in mind, guys, like, if I get level 3 dove by Fiddlesticks there, because there's a big wave coming to me, right? And I'm low HP and he's low HP, but the wave will crash. I can't stop it from crashing. I don't have the resources to stop Jax from crashing. He's too tanky, right, early game? With Grasp and D Dorn Shield. So the thing is, like, you know, all of you would be probably XDDing me and, like, laughing at me because I'm a griefer because I get towered over and I'd be 0 20, you know? <laughs> That's the downside of, like, agreeing to the to fighting. But the thing is, if there's no action, it's really bad for him. And if there is action, it's very, like, if, like, if there is action, it's bad for me. If there's no action, it's really bad for him. Remember the Darius game that uh, Adam won v 9th? Same idea. Um, where he's like, he's hard forcing using both the sums. The difference there is that, um, the reason why I, like, I closed the stream after I saw that Renekton and V will lose that sequence was because if there's action, Renekton, Renekton wins, and if there's no action, Renekton wins. <laughs> That's why I was like, I was really upset that that didn't get punished, because to me, that's like really stupid. Because the idea is basically if there's action, then Ignite Renekton with 50 Fury and Vigo with Flash should always beat Darius with no summoners and Rel. Now, I will agree that Rel has counterplay, like Rel Darius have counterplay, but it's I think it's still Renekton favored. And if there's no action, then you will just eventually, uh, as Renekton, like, you will eventually uh, slow push a 100 Fury wave, and then Darius just can't touch the wave. He can't, re like, he can't really uh, fight in the wave. But yeah, they lost that series? I know. <laughs>